Nice. Okay, revitalize the trash. You only need to cast a nurse. That's the only spell you should be casting. For healing. Exactly what to do. We will survive. I help you. Drink of the depths of the blue, strike with the fierce will. Drink of the depths of the blue, strike with the fierce will. Drink of the depths of the blue, strike with the fierce will. Yeah. See right there.
can't be screwing around this time. I strike with the purest of wills. Energy flash. Landing. Jump and swing. Claro. Alright. Level fit the sound, damn. What do they do? What? We will survive! There you go. Ass bear. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Somehow. All right. That wasn't the right way. That was not the right way. Is that a wall? Shit. Uh oh, hurt. Playing with your blocks again, are you? That's a good boy. Are you happy to be praised like that? If so, then you should smile like this. <laughs> I know it feels strange at first, but in time you'll learn how to smile on your own. That's the thing about Tio's games. Director Cornell. Ah, hello there, Emerald. Sir, I've been thinking, and I believe your methods are mistaken. We're to study Lambda's abilities, not to shape his moral fiber or aesthetics, and that's all we're tasked to do. I believe proceeding with such a plan will inevitably raise a number of grave ethical concerns. Ethical concerns? So you consider it unethical for me to teach this child how to laugh or even if I show him what it means to cry? Of course it's unethical. The point remains this body was provided merely as a convenience for our continued research. A body may influence a soul just as a soul can shape a body. Just look at the child. Every day he becomes more and more human. To tell you the truth, I have a great number of things in store for this interesting young boy, Emerald. I think he may well be the first of his kind to transcend the bounds of humanoids and become a new kind of being. He is indeed nothing less than the hope of our future personified. Huh. Lambda here has a good many things yet to learn, and I want him to grow up.
to be a healthy and carefree young boy. Yes, he should live as nothing less than human. Did everyone just see that? That was the Research Institute on Fodra, right? I believe we saw part of the same vision there. It wasn't just Lambda. Emerald and that man from the Institute's records were there too. I don't understand. How could we share a vision like that? It may be because Lambda is trying to merge with this world. Yeah, well, I don't think it was harmful or whatever. Everybody still feel okay? No problems here. I've been thinking about that vision ever since we saw it in the Institute. I guess I'm surprised that Lambda would smile like that. We can't discount the possibility that the vision is a trap of some kind. There could be trouble ahead. Let's move fast, but watch our steps. He did smile, didn't he? Why did Richard choose to be with you, Lambda? Just what are you? Take it. Ah, uh, Everyone, stay on your game. Uh, so cool. Everybody came back alive too. Oh. 